devoted to us Christians. Because they discern our hearing from God. When threats are imposed to you, you check which time, which direction, which season, Lori, kile makaleli fe, Lori, ke suncho rikite ke fe tule ningi, kale makaleli juwa. Any threat that comes to a Christian affect his decision. Ora ruma chushetia mangle ya mangwa fita mo pulusenga affecta ona gana leave the decision to that itiyao. The Bible says Jesus was told first. Bible read Jesus ma leba mulella. Well, do you want to go back again? Onya kubuya la habedi. Remember, they nearly stole you. These were threats that if you go back, expect the danger. He said from the beginning, the, the, the sickness in Lazarus was not for death. But when you want to go there, they show him their threats. I want to tell you that one of the reasons why Jesus delayed was because one, these threats can be so much effective because Jesus and Lazarus and sisters were like friends. So if he goes back there and fake some kind of resurrection, what will happen? For Jesus to delay and say, I must not just rise up. He wanted the glory of God to be visible. Because he knew that any miracle can raise enemies that will attack you. To show that it was a serious threat. Look at Thomas Didimus. He said, because he wants to go, let's go and die with him. There was no way that they were going there and they would come back. But it took the obedience of Jesus and his hearing to stay two days to see the miracle. To stay two days to see the miracle. Even when God is glorified, no one will question them. Tassel say threats. Perfect the glory of God. Tassel say threats. And people will worship God. And people will worship God. So threats can be very powerful. So threats are very good for us. Tassel say threats. 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 And make us to speak with genuine truth. If you are facing threats, you are a Christian. But you need to know that it's there to open your spiritual ears. Paul was telling Timothy. Paulo na talusa cha Timothy. He said, "I will stay in Ephesus." Arena kita ba kiduchiko Ephesus. Because there's a great door that has been opened. Kwa wana una le moja kwa mugo lo wuchwing wamenyeta. But there are adversaries. Mara hapa ina una le ba hanei chiba bangata. Wherever there's a door. Oko chema una le moja kwa wuchwing. There are threats. Una le matushiji. We have something in us. Una le se icheng seling seling orena. That threat. Always rise because of it. So that what is in us will come out to make people that will to glorify God. Unless you face threats, what is in you will never come out. So the reality of bringing what God has given you, face threats. Unless you 
you are challenged by anything that can challenge you automatically that what is inside you will never come I want to tell you what threats us. They pressurize you in the corner. Because always stress, they are asking you, what is it that is in you? So when you are allowed to be flexible when you are pressured, what is it in you will come out? So a Christian without a trouble is a stagnant Christian. Let me say it again. A Christian without any challenge challenge. is a stagnant Christian. A Christian who is not growing. 